Project Safe Schools tonight. It's election day for voters in several counties as they consider a variety of issues, including a school bond in Collinsville. Voters are casting their ballots on a $10.4 million bond issue. Tuna's Oklahoma reporter Brady Halbleib tells us where the money will go if it's approved. I'm here at Collinsville High School where administrators are hoping voters do pass their latest bond issue. The district says it's an important one because the district is growing and fast. It's the second bond of a three phase plan to address that growth. The first phase passed in 2018 with a $7.5 million bond. This is a $10.4 million bond and the school leaders tell me it will pay for repairing and remodeling older school buildings, adding new buildings and classrooms, new furniture, new equipment and improving the school stadium. Superintendent Jeremy Hogan tells me the need for more classrooms is paramount to meet the growing enrollment numbers. We understand the, the demands here of the community and I think everybody understands the growth and the challenges we face as a school district and this will help us uh, keep up with the growth of our community and the amount of students that are coming into the school districts. Now Hogan tells me that every vote counts, especially in a small town like this. Polls are open until 7 p.m. tonight in Collinsville. Brady Halbleib, 2 News, Oklahoma.